thank you for joining me this evening. My name is Cesar Rondina, and my topic for my video blog post tonight is human rights. It's September 9th, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Connecticut, and I hope you're enjoying your evening. This is a very important topic. Human rights is something that is perceived to be justifiably belonging to every human being. So every human being has what we consider human rights. It's not determined by race, color, creed, male, female, lesbian, homosexual, um, transgender, same-sex marriages. None of that comes into play when, it, when we talk about human rights, especially when we talk about immigrants and especially when we talk about children. Everybody has what is perceived to, to be human rights. Now, let's talk about that a little bit, because when it comes to human rights, people could oftentimes be very opinionated. And as much as everybody has the right to their own opinion, opinion doesn't change the facts. Facts are the facts. The truth is the truth. And everybody is entitled to their basic human rights. Now, on with that, we complicate the issue more by sometimes the laws we create. Uh, especially now the biggest controversial topic going on is immigration and, and, and immigrants, Ill illegal aliens. Uh, there's many things that I, I agree with on that particular topic. I do believe that any um, immigrant that comes into this country should obtain, obtain citizenship, but I also agree that we have to have a system in place that makes that attainable in a reasonable period of time. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with the way children are handled. Uh, children are innocent. They are victims of circumstances. There's, they did not consciously do something illegal because at, at their age, they don't know the difference between legal and illegal. So they shouldn't be paying those the prices that they are paying, especially with the newest controversy about our military uh, servicemen and women that are overseas and have children whether or not they should be uh, considered American citizens or not. Now, you know, I'm not going to sit here and dictate to you for the next 15 or 20 minutes my opinions because everybody has a right to their opinion. But I think what's important is when we look at human rights, we need to look at the facts and we need to look at the truth about human rights. As I said earlier when I started this blog post, that human rights are something that is justifiably belonging to every person that walks on the face of this earth. Regardless of the country you come from, what flag you salute, uh, what religion you believe in, what your culture is, these are basic human rights. So with that said, are we being fair if we deny some of those human rights people their human rights. Now, you may not necessarily agree with same-sex sex marriages. You may not necessarily agree with um, people living together versus being married. And that's okay that you don't agree with that. But you can't deny them their human rights. One of the big issues and still a controversial uh, topic around um, the nation is insurance. Okay? People that are in domestic
are growing up in a world that is ever constantly changing. And as they grow up and things change, they're going to develop their beliefs. Now, what we need to try and understand when we approach this from an intellectual standpoint is that the opinions of each one of those generations is going to be based by their upbringing, the era of time they were raised in. For example, and I'll use me as a perfect example, uh, I was raised in an era where same-sex relationships were simply not accepted, okay? And I hate to use the term because I think it's a very demeaning term, but people that um, had same-sex interests were in the closet, all right? They were afraid to come out in the open because they were not. equation and look at this from an intellectual and factual standpoint, the answer to that, to that question is always going to be yes. Whenever we deprive anyone of something that they are entitled to that someone else is also receiving, we are denying them their basic human rights, whether it's to apply for a loan, get medical insurance, get an equal paying job, whatever it may be, be in the military doesn't make a difference. There's a lot of parents uh, nowadays that don't want to have their children in a school being taught by a, a teacher that's in a same-sex relationship. Well, you know, I think there's a certain responsibility that comes with all of this. Now, people that are You don't have to agree with their lifestyle. You don't have to um, support it necessarily uh, from your personal opinion standpoint, but you cannot deny these people their human rights because they... That is uh, what's going on with these children being separated from their parents and so on and so forth. Now, you know, as I said earlier, I do believe that any person that comes into this country should come into it legally. There should be a vetting process. Um, we have to be sure of who's coming into our country and they should become American citizens. But during that process, I do not believe that children should be separated from their, from their mother and their father. We're talking about in, uh, putting emotional trauma on kids that could affect them for the rest of their lives. So, you know, if for some crazy reason uh, there is justifiable reasons to detain people, families should not be separated. You know, the
and then gets threatened to be deported because we have an internal system that's broke, an internal system that did not allow them to complete a process in a timely manner. Now, I'm not saying that's the case in every case, because we certainly know that there's people that have crossed our borders illegally that we don't even know are, are, are even here. And yes, you can't argue with the facts and the, and the statistics that state uh, crime in these borderline communities um, along the border has increased dramatically. It is a major problem. And I am not saying the government is wrong in trying to correct it. They are absolutely right in trying to correct it. What I do question, though, is our methods of correcting it. All right. We have to do it properly and we have to do it by not denying people their human rights. And that's what this topic is all about, human rights. Because don't ever doubt for one minute in your mind that every person that walks as at fault as the system itself that causes this problem. Now, am I going to give you an opinion on whether we should build a border wall or so on and so forth? No, I'm not going to get into that because this isn't about my opinions. This is about simple facts of life based on human rights. And that simple fact of life is simple. We cannot deny people their human rights, but we do have to have methods in place to control the security of the borders of our country. So with all of that said, I hope you found some of this insightful and maybe you learned something you didn't know before. Um, or maybe I just kind of refreshed your memory. But thanks for tuning in and I appreciate it. I could be followed on Twitter, Instagram, um, and LinkedIn. 